Can you believe it that Russians won ATP Cup? I mean, Medvedev and Rubrov really did change tennis of Russia in the past several years, for men of course. Okay, so this is what I think. Okay, so guys, these are really truly breaking news in tennis world. Russia has just won ATP Cup and that's insane, especially for men. It's just unbelievable. Like only five to seven years ago, Russia was like nowhere on the map, especially for men. For women, we were always up there because there was, there was always this Sharapova. Uh, I don't know, Kuznetsova, there were several really, really good female tennis players and there are still some good female tennis players from Russia. But from men's tennis, there was this Marat Safin guy and there was no one, like literally no one. Conditions in Russia for playing tennis are terrible. It costs so much. It costs three times as much as it costs in Europe to play tennis in Russia. And Russia is not a very rich country. I turned, it turned out that I personally know some of the people I know, Rublov and Medvedev. I used to know them, let's put it that way, because we used to play uh, kind of together. And really, it is insane how much just the belief and desire and love for a sport can really change even the, the country, the sport, the, the way our country perceives this a certain sport. Uh, it's in, for men, obviously. For women, it was always super popular ever since Sharapova became like world number one and ever since she won Wimbledon but these guys these guys really wanted to just to play the sport even though there were not many opportunities for him at the time when they were teenagers I mean just looking forward there were not many opportunities because there was this Marat Safin guy right who was great he was really great but at the same time his mother was tennis coach his family did have opportunities to go to Spain and Safin did train in Spain most of the time I believe he spent most of his time in Spain which is the country for especially men's tennis, right? Because it's just cheaper. They do have this great school. Those two guys, uh, Medvedev and Rubilov, really did train most of their lives in Russia. Obviously now that they're professionals, I think Medvedev practices in Monaco, I'm not exactly sure, but they really are straight out of Russia and it's very difficult here. And I personally do believe it's just um, the reason behind their success besides grit and hard work and perseverance and all of that all those very important qualities that are important no matter what you are doing right that are really 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 big and there are several books on psychology that you can read and actually and actually implement because it, just reading is obviously not going to help but these guys actually lived those books i'm not sure if they've read them most probably they haven't they just knew somehow that they have to persevere and look at them now like seriously they have just won ATP Cup it's a really really inspirational story they most definitely deserved it it's just like a great achievement for um, not for Russia but like for them because they really did not get a lot of support from our country just growing up probably they do get some support right now ha 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 exactly when they don't need the support right because they can support themselves now but it is really truly one of the most inspirational stories I ever saw I really recommend everyone watch this matches at the same time I mean, ATP Cup matches. At the same time, I do want to say that how really how smart was that for Medvedev and Rublev to Rublev to really go into this tournament knowing that Australian Open is coming up like right right around the corner, right? So they are really tired right now, and I don't think that Rublev can really hope for the win on a Grand Slam. I don't know why I say that, but I think just psychologically, he is not there. However, Medvedev really, I believe, can win a Grand Slam. He is very close to winning a Grand Slam. He just won an ATP final. Um, yeah, exactly, yeah, he won ATP final. And that is obviously, that is great, very prestigious. I believe in ATP finals, you earn the most amount of money probably, right? winning ATP finals but everyone when you think of tennis you really think about grand slams and how they are 
in a wider population like more how grand slams are more prestigious known and how people basically judge you by whether or not you have won a grand slam and i am not sure here i would have not if if i was there in their team i would have it would have been really hard but i would still make uh, a player focus more on I would recommend this player whatever player I would have worked with uh, whether it's Rublev or Medvedev I would have advised to focus more on what's more important but hey if this group tournament is more important for them everyone is not the same and everyone don't uh, everyone doesn't share the same amount of values this not the same amount but the same values because amount is whatever yeah we're not talking about the amount of values but we're talking about the same values maybe this ATP cup was important for them at the same time they are going to be pretty tired right now even though they are going to come into this tournament a little bit more confident but Australian Open is a grand slam and it's a five set grand slam which basically means that they are going to have to play five sets if if it comes down to it they are gonna have to play five sets and that's gonna be really tough on their body but this win may be psychologically be uh, might be very like kind of like uplifting for them so it's very you know are like it's debatable whether or not they should have played this tournament ATP Cup I mean and um, but yeah we'll see Djokovic also I believe played it and um, but obviously he has lost so he did have a little bit more time to recover so let's see how it goes what do you guys think don't forget to comment in a section down below and don't forget to subscribe watch my other videos you just have to if you want to learn more about psychology more about uh, my take on sports and what's going on mostly with i'm um, covering tennis and um, martial arts uh, as i've said thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one